formerly the Angel of Death, and talking about the Angel of Death, the Axe Man, who called himself relations to the Angel of Death, stayed right where we're at today, which is the Haunted Hotel right here, right off of Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Now, we're going to be recording, and all this footage will be raw and unedited. We're going to show you around the courtyard, our personal room that we've rented for the weekend, and see if any kind of paranormal stuff may happen to us. So currently we are in the little bit the little bitty alley that connects from the main street to the courtyard, which is the only way in here. We are currently back in the alleyway that leads it. This right here. Really small to get to the place that leads to the courtyard, which I mentioned earlier. They mentioned ghosts, but apparently there are zombies. Unreported, of course. Looks like a bloody fountain to me. As I mentioned, this is the courtyard here. Now, I haven't ever heard anything about a haunting in the courtyard, but the rooms apparently are the haunted spots. Nice, cozy courtyard. This is the, well, the back of the main building. We'll go up the stairs here, get a better view. The rooms are pretty nice. We've been in ours. We have not heard or seen anything yet there was a really loud creak in the closet area which we will get in our room later and give you a walk through that's the place next door we've been keeping our eyes on the windows this is the upstairs for the main area Basically a bunch of nothing over there, nothing moving, nothing weird, I guess. So as of right now, a quiet little humble place. Rather cute and quiet, I would say. So, once again... Once again, we are here in the... You a ghost? I'm a ghost. You a ghost, dog? Without the use. Do you give me some drinks, dog? No drinks. You don't drink? Oh my God, these people are like trying to force me to drink. That's what's haunting. So we are here. Nothing out of the ordinary tonight. Relatively quiet. This is the patio. Yes, that's Shady Jane. We have not seen anything, but I will get a walkthrough of the bedroom next. And we will figure out if the haunted hotel is haunted or not. We 
are next door at the local cafe. Right beside us is the Haunted Hotel. Uh, we had a pretty peaceful night there, to tell you the truth. Up next, we're going to give you a walkthrough of the room, finally. Um, this place here is peaceful, awesome. Let me stand up and give you a, uh, a view of the place. Nice fountain. Um, this is where we're having our breakfast at this morning. Really nice place. Look at that. Just Would you look at it, people? And then you get the skylight. Beautiful morning here in New Orleans. And as I said, directly behind us is the Haunted Hotel. So get ready for the review of the room. So we are back here at the room. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the place. We stayed at this one right here with no number on it, but it does not matter. When you first walk in, nice place. Don't mind the bags. The bedroom here was actually nice, peaceful. One of the best night's sleeps we've had at a hotel in a long time. Now, you see it? Bright colors. Pretty clean. It was actually really clean. Uh, one of the first things we noticed is right here inside this closet, which is the only closet in the place. When you first walk in, it, it, I actually had a really loud creak in this floor. I almost felt like I was going to fall through it, but I didn't. Hey, it's old, so it's going to do that. But what threw us off, very funny, is that there's a lock on the inside of this closet, the uh, handles on this side, but it locks from the inside. So you, maybe if you see the Axe Man, you can lock yourself in the closet. But we didn't see no Axe Man. We didn't hear any ghosts through the night. The only thing that we actually heard, which was me, not my wife, I heard a drip randomly, a loud drip, something that wouldn't be coming from the water faucet, something that wouldn't be coming from the shower. But my wife, being the investigating genius that she is, determined, don't mind the uh, hand grenade drinks, it was the coffee maker dripping into the cup. So, nothing haunted there, people. Walk into the bathroom, nice, clean, bright bathroom with a very cool looking stand-up shower. So, when it comes down to it, is the Haunted Hotel here in New Orleans haunted or not? My experience with my wife last night, definitely not haunted. This is the other alley in between the Haunted Hotel and the building next door. Obviously, nothing going on here. The place next door has some cool statues, paintings. And Bourbon Street is just right down the way. Yes. So we're currently walking to Bourbon Street. This is the day after the Haunted Hotel, a great stay, no paranormal. We enjoyed Bourbon Street last night. Bourbon besides the homeless. Yeah, besides the homeless. There, yeah. there, there is a huge amount of homeless here, which is sad. And through the Louisiana law, you're not allowed to feed them either. So, uh, let's see what we got. Bourbon Street in the morning is completely different, of course, than it was last night.
you can actually have cars on the street without them being victimized with deviant partiers. We are outside the St. Louis Cathedral. We are going to go inside and just do a quiet walk through because this is a quiet zone. The Pope himself has visited this one. I would have believed twice if I'm correct. Thank you. 